and this is a live video so for those that will be re-watching this is a live recording if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know that another great video is on and we're gonna get started on how to dip how to properly dip candied strawberries in this video session i will break away and do a q and a after i have gone through the steps and techniques and methods for this particular video all right so don't forget to give this video thumbs up Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to discuss with you first is what am I, what am I using to dip my strawberries. First, I got some fresh strawberries. And I have some paper towel to completely dry my strawberries. They must be completely dry. And I'm going to use the half recipe, two cups of sugar, half cup of water, and half cup of light corn syrup. I have my bamboo scores, which these are six inches long, and they're like four inches, four inches in width. So either you get six inches or eight inches long this is to better help um, with dipping so you won't have to stick your hand all the way into in the pot um, dipping these strawberries okay safety first safety first all right and so I'm also going to demonstrate a few things with the candy straw I'm gonna show you the original dipping then I'm going to add color and then I'm going to do some sour candied strawberries. All right. So I put in a little mixture of some of my um, uh, Jolly Rancher mix and just mix them together. And we're going to get started. So let's go ahead and add our half cup of water, two cups of granulated sugar half cup of light corn syrup all right get that all mixed up in there now I'm not gonna add any color uh, because I am getting I'm going to create the original candy strawberries first. All right. So you want to cook this same as you do a candy recipe for apples. You want to cook this to 300 degrees. This is a half recipe. Okay. Mix that all. In there now here's the trick with the candy strawberries all right using a half mitt half recipe this is the thing of understanding recipes if you want to thin out your candy add a little bit more water okay if you want to add two more tablespoons of water or four table tablespoons of water to thin it out your mixture or you can add a three-fourth cup or another half cup and the, all it does is thin out the um, mixture so that it won't be so hard on your candy strawberries all right and then when you add more water then you have to take it up to 310 degrees all right so that is a tip for you all today. Taking my candy thermometer, placing it in the pot, making sure the tip does not touch the bottom of the pot, 
or it will give off a false reading. And I'm going to put this disclaimer out there as soon as I turn this induction oven on. It may be some static, but it will soon go away. Let's get that on. Okay, so you want to cook this on medium-high heat, um, just as you were making your candy apple recipe. And no color goes in. This gets the clearness of this um, particular um, candy strawberry. Okay? Some people add red, some people don't. But you'll see uh, what I'm talking about once it's time to dip. So you want to make sure that your strawberries are completely dry. Taking you a nice paper towel. Oh, yeah, I hear the static. It'll soon go away. I noticed that after I went back to watch the video. All right. So make sure that you dry your strawberries completely. What I clean my strawberries with um, is a vegetable wash. And I will put the um, description, the link in the description um, below. But make sure that all your strawberries are completely clean. All right. So I'm just dabbing my strawberries. And while I'm doing that, I'm going right into our Q&A segment. So here we go. Feel free. To ask your questions, let's get it, let's go. Hi everyone. the water content of the berry how long are these good for great question um being that this these are fresh fruit any fresh fruit that you dip does not last long at all strawberries grapes these does not last no longer than two to three days Two to three days is the longest that these are going to last because a lot fresh fruit a lot of fresh fruit cannot be dipped okay it doesn't last long at all two to three days tops no longer than that if anyone wish to purchase from you any fresh fruit you must they must get them that same day or within the three days I wouldn't recommend shipping um, because they break down. Even with chocolate covered strawberries, they don't last long at all. Best way to store them. This look, um, best way to store them if you put them in a container, um, a cupcake container, whatever little small box container you want to serve to your customer. It's totally up to you, and you store them right into the refrigerator. You're welcome. So 
someone see me live and they're live in the video if you see if you're in here and you live please refrain from inboxing me <laughs> I am doing a live video thank you <laughs> is this recipe hold on uh, is this the same recipe as candy apples yes I use this my same recipe I just cut the recipe in half just the half recipe if you want to thin off the candy I would advise if you add at least four tablespoons of water or you can do a half cup more of water all it do is just thinning out the mixture and um, you can cook it to 310 degrees at that point because remember water breaks down sugar so it's safe to add um, a couple of more tablespoons of water to thin out your mixture. How do you make it? Ro, what is your Jolly Rancher sour mix? I'm glad you asked. It is a video on my channel that I did um, some candy grapes, but all I mix is, and here are a few of my colors. I do something a little different. Um, I mix Jolly Ranchers and sand and sugar and um, citric acid into this mix. Okay? The citric acid you can order offline, you can get at your local Walmart. And actually, this is just a total mix of citric acid and sugar. I mix the citric acid and sugar. I do half of and half because this is going to be very sour and sweet. And then I just spread some into my Jolly Rancher mix. Okay? So that's Jolly Rancher mix. Grind it up in a food, food processor, blender, sand and sugar your citric acid and a little bit of sugar shake it up and voila now I gotta break this up but I have green blue orange And yellow and you can make whatever color you want to make with um, the Jolly Ranchers and all I did was took some took a few tablespoons and mixed this together to just blend it all together all right so this is actually like a sour mix and if you don't want it to be sour you don't have to add the citric acid Okay. To blend to blend down the or grind up the Jolly Ranchers, you can use a food processor or um, a blender. And once you grind down the Jolly Ranchers, and I'm gonna tell you, I unwrapped 25 Jolly Ranchers um, and mixed them into the uh, blender. So you can do more or whatever you, you choose, depending on how big your blender is. I use the hand blender, so I counted out 25 so I wouldn't tear up my blender. Wonderful teacher, you always give girl instructions. Thank you. Can you also use this Jolly Rancher mix on candy apples? Yes, you sure can. Long as the candy, long as your candy apples. Um, like you like you do with sand and sugar uh, I will take my apple put it over the heat let some heat boil or what have you put your apple right over there the steam from the pot 
let your apples get sticky and then you can just dip your apples into a bowl of the Jolly Rancher mix and you can coat it that way. Now, I don't know who's going to eat that apple. Somebody got to really have a good dentist or a good dentist plan <laughs> to be eating that apple and the Jolly Ranchers on that, on that apple. All right. All right, so I'm there. Taking your thermometer, putting it in a glass container with water. Okay. And I just want you to take a look at how your mixture turns brown. Okay. So I'm going to use two of these sticks for my strawberries. Pierce them right at the top. Okay. You don't have to go all the way through. Now, normally, I take the leaves off. Okay. I'm not trying to burn my fingertips trying to um, hold the leaves while I dip them. I take them off. Okay? Alright? So this is the original way to coat for the candy strawberry. If you just want to coat it with just the mixture, all right? You can flavor the mixture if you like. I'm just going to scrape that there. Okay. Uh -oh. So as you see here, now I'm going to also show you flavoring at the end is not a problem. It's going to bubble a little bit. If it's smoked, that's fine. Just mix it in there. You're going to see the smoke come up. Don't be alarmed. Let it settle. All right. And you can also add your flavor around two. 200 to 250. I'm just showing you all the difference of what the outcome would be if you forget to add your flavor. Once again, taking your sticks, piercing them into your strawberry. Now this time, I'm going to add um, a little bit of red. This is a super red by Chef Masters. Just adding one drop okay you do not have to add white okay unless you want your candy strawberries to be a solid color all right so if you ever seen candy strawberries and you can still see through the candy and it looked really really pretty this is the way to do it. Just don't add white. Just add um, the red color. All right. It's going to look transparent. And that's the look you want if you want the red delicious candy strawberry. Tilting your pot. Dipping it right in. Coming out. catch that okay I'm gonna just sit this down and I'm gonna show you in the fear all right now with this strawberry I'm going to dip into the Jolly Rancher mix
let that drizzle off. I know I, I'm definitely not going to put my hand behind there so you can see. Okay, you want to dip in your mix, just dip. into the mix as so. All right. And that's how you make your candy strawberries. Pretty cool, huh? Also, leave a comment in the comment section if you have done this before and you left your leaves on would you rather leave your leaves on or take them off my preference is take them off okay then i'll show you all of them in a few drizzle some of that off picking it up Straight into the mix. Okay, these are fairly large strawberries. I got my strawberries from Sam's Club. I always like to aim for the bigger strawberries. The bigger, the better. And this one, I'm just going to dip originally. And that's why I feel it's so much better and safer to have longer sticks to dip your strawberries with. All right. Very pretty, vibrant. Now, if you want it to look solid, then you add white. But this is how you would do that classic red um, candy strawberry. Okay, just sit it down onto a silicone mat. And then this is the original. Just the original dip strawberry right into um, the sugar. Nothing added. You can add flavor, but it doesn't have no color. It's just the candied mix. Okay, so this is the original. And this is the original classic red. Okay. And remember, they do not last long. Okay. At all. But very pretty. And there you have your candy strawberries. Any questions? You can reheat this mix. Just pay attention that you don't overheat. Okay? Did you see it slowly getting a little thick? I'm going to just turn it up. You want to turn your stove on low? To just heat it up a little bit to continue to dip. Okay? But to remember to pat that strawberry completely dry before dipping. Okay? So you see the mix heating back up. It just takes a few minutes for it to get to thin out. Once it has done that, you 
I'm going to just go in and dip. And don't reheat it too long. It just takes a few minutes. If it if you reheat it longer than that, it goes into a taffy. So remember, you're working with a homemade hot mix. Okay. Let me just sit that down. All right. To clean out your pot, just add you a cup of water, bringing it over the level. You want to put enough water in there where it goes over the level of the candy mixture. And just boil it out until it comes a liquid form and you are good you are set with your mixture and just clean out your pot but there you have your candied strawberries okay So I'll take a few questions before I sign out. You're welcome. I hope you all are enjoying this series. I think you all are. Um, if you're not following me on my social media, I am on Facebook, Your Sweet Connection. Also, my Instagram is Your Sweet Connect. Okay. Um, Go ahead and follow me if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know some great videos is about to come on and girl you know Ro is about to come and give you life for sure all right excuse the interruptions earlier that's the thing about going live but can i cut one in half i sure can There you go. Remember, it's hard candy. Mm. Got me smacking. Mm. Okay. There you go. Mmm. Someone asks, can they do cherries? I wouldn't do cherries. And I'm re I'm really here to educate y'all, to let y'all know. Everything cannot be dipped in candy mixture. The lifespan does not last long. So if you're looking to do like a pop-up shop and you're trying to get them up out of there, you sell in the same day, they need to come and pick them up that day or within two to three days okay i did my daughter's pink party and i did candy grapes and they fell in love with them which the high schoolers always do and they ate them that same day you know they got up the next day looking for them but remember fresh fruit whether it's plums peach they well peaches got a little more tough skin but plums grapes um strawberries they're, they're fresh fruit so cherries you i mean you can dip them but just know they're not gonna last long exactly someone said now i see why you said who gonna eat the apple with the candy mixture it's hard yeah you put hard candy on top of hard candy Keep in mind, this is a homemade mixture. Things are a little different when you make it homemade. Um, you can store them in your refrigerator for them to last up until the time that your customers or your family, whoever, come and get them. How would I price them? It varies. Um, by these strawberries being as big as they are, I do three of these for $5. They're huge. 
Okay. And it depends on your area. Okay. Some may sell a little more for five dollars. Some may sell six for five dollars. But that's how I would price them. So just keep in mind what may work in my area may not what markets in my area may not market in your area. So pricing is a little different um, over broad, abroad. Just could I do fruity pebbles? All right, cereal on candy. Chattanooga has everybody's <laughs> Okay. Um, someone asks, how do you package these? You can package them in whatever, a clear container. Um, you can put them in cupcake liners and put them in a cupcake container and put them in a refrigerator. It depends on the packaging that you choose um, to put them in, depending on the size of the strawberries. But me, per se, I would probably put them in a cupcake container or there's a container that I did do my strawberries in that fits like four in the container. I will leave that link in the description box below. Check out that link and they're good to hold um, strawberries. It's a clear container. Just put them in and sell them in that container. Oh my goodness, candy peaches. <laughs> We'll see. No, I do not leave the sticks in at all. Nope. I do not leave the sticks in. So you don't leave the sticks in. They come right out. As you see. Okay. No, I do not leave the sticks in. Take them out. Please don't sell them with the sticks in. That don't look right. Okay. All right, so this will end my session for today. I enjoyed you all. Today I gave y'all life on two video sessions today. And I thank you and appreciate you all for joining me in my live sessions. Also, once again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Connect with your girl, Ro, for show to give you life right here on your Sweet Connections channel. And keep in mind, where there's peace, there's love. Where there's great, there's greatness. I'm here to help you get to your potent, greatest potential. Keep that in mind. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. There is more to come. Y'all see, I'm giving y'all life on all these different colors. Stay tuned for the metallic colors. As soon as they deliver, I think that was my package that just came in. Let's do a um, let's do an unboxing. Let's do an unpackaging right quick. The no, nah. <laughs> not the colors, my ribbon. But these ribbon, this ribbon, y'all know what? If y'all can guess what's coming next, <laughs> put it in the comment section below. Put it in the comment section below if you know what's the next video that's going to go on tomorrow. Leave it in the comment section below. I might just have something for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> ah. Ah. All right. It's been real, you guys. I enjoyed you. Until next time, I will see y'all in the next video.